Greetings and welcome to Flavorful Eats. Today we really have flavors of all over the world and we are to be a paying a tribute to Professor Dr. Ayer again. Yes. 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 <laughs> With Mrs. Parvati Ayer, Rangini Saigo and Amrita Saigo. So we're doing millionaire shortbread, but that's what we're starting off with. That is a new, new, new edition, and that's Amrita's favorite. So she's going to be doing it right now. Okay. So in that mixer, she's already put um, a block of um, butter, about um, a pound, half a pound of butter, eight ounces, and she had it half a cup of sugar already, sugar, yeah. and you've beaten it. So yeah. uh, it is the right consistency to add uh, three cups of flour. Yep. So you're ready to do that just yet? Yep. Should we beat it a little bit more? Just a little bit more, okay. yeah. There we go. You're ready for the flour. And to that, it was unsalted butter, so we added a little bit of salt also. So it brings out a little bit of flavor. Sweet always is good. Mm. So this has nothing to do with uh, tribute right now. Well, I must say one thing. My father loved your shortbread and ah. your baking. So that, you know that, Humsha. <laughs> yes. Your baking was always very special to him. And uh, so I would call it a tribute because okay. he truly enjoyed that. <laughs> and this is something that uh, Amrita did with me as a little girl. Uh, girl yeah. yeah. That's what, like 10 years old or even younger than that, I think. Oh, well, and it continues to be her yeah? favorite thing. And yeah. she would bring it to dad. And my father loved those baked cookies. <laughs> so, uh, so while Amrita is getting that together, you're going to be making a very, very favorite soup of uncles. Yes. It's going to be a mushroom soup. Mushroom yeah. soup, yeah. and we're gonna. I'm gonna call it one pot, one shot. Yeah, because I, it's now for the modern day lady who's mm. hard at work, and needs to come home and try to cook something. Mm. And this is like the quickest thing to make. Yes, yeah. let's listen to wash. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. One pot, one okay. shot. Meaning one pot we're gonna be using, and we're just gonna cook the whole thing yes. from beginning to end. And that's an instant pot. Is, is our dough together? I think our dough is all ready now. Okay, so you wanna put it out together? Put yep. it out and. Uh, the absolute best dessert, in my it personal opinion. <laughs> I remember uh, Tata coming uh, to your Google and uh -huh. enjoying those baked goodies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When Amrita was working there, Tata yeah. used to enjoy the baked goodies, goodies that she brought home. It's amazing, isn't it, now how, how, many, how sweets have become more common. When we were growing up, that was not quite the case. So. Yes, because it was special occasions, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. you know what? That is what was healthy. Exactly. Exactly. So we didn't eat that much sugar. <laughs> yes. Nothing like the hands to work. Yes, that's your best tool. <laughs> you can give it a ring to your mom. It gets spoiled. We have one in the oven already. Amrita, you want to take that out yes, for me? I the magic of TV cooking. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm ah. going to be putting this on. In the meantime, Ranjini, can you explain the or even Amaki, yeah. explain the ingredients that's going into your soup? So we've already turned on the instant pot okay. a little yes, bit, uh -huh. and we're going to put about a teaspoon of uh, a tablespoon of olive oil in it. Is that a, what a we? Tablespoon. A tablespoon. Tablespoon. So yeah. we want to show them all the other ingredients that are yes, there. Yes. Yes. So, so tell them we have. So they, uh, we we have a mushroom mm -hmm. cut into pieces like this. Yeah. And then we have broccoli. Yeah. And then uh, around uh, two cups. Yeah. And then we have onion, mm -hmm. around two cups, and then a few pearls of ginger, garlic, and Close a pinch of garlic. ginger. Ginger. And then we have a little bit of pepper powder and salt. Perfect. And Perfect. you said that uh, to Indianize it, even though it's yeah, a yeah, some, uh, in India, they add also dira, cumin. And it is optional. It's an optional. Uh, thing. In India, uh, that 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 spice is known as jeera in India. And uh, in English, it's called cumin, C-U-M-I-N. Very healthy for digestion. Mm. There's no oil there. Oil, no so oil. I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil. Yeah. Is that good, mommy? Would that be good? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that is enough. That That's is it. enough. So a tablespoon and, and of oil. And we, then we, we start with mushroom. Okay. Sorting the mushroom. And we're going to individually sort it things. Yeah, right yeah individually. All, all the vegetables will be indiv uh, st not individually it's sorted. Yeah, but start, one, start by one. with one by one and then we, it will oh, sure. be mixed. So why don't you start? You're layering it. Layering. The word is you're layering yeah. it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So we start with mushroom, 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 which is cut into fine pieces, not very fine pieces. Yeah. And we could use this to. Yeah. So let me just. Should I saute it, mommy? Yeah. When we do this. Yeah. yeah. When shall you saute? The insta pot is uh, safe it's to do this. Perfect. Away. The insta pot is quite safe to do this. And so next, what would you be adding, mommy? Next, I'll be adding this uh, onion. Onion after the yes. mushroom. Then okay. Good. Okay. So while that is being wilted. I'm going to be working on 
carrying on with our cookies, just in the interest of time. I yeah, hope yeah. that's okay with you. Oh, yeah. yes. 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 In the meantime, what we, I've done already is I've made the caramel, caramel for yeah. um, Amrita in the interest of time because she came from work or came from honeymoon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what I've done here is I put a block of butter. I told you, it's a lot of sugar. A can of sweetened condensed milk. Yeah. I put, instead of regular syrup, I've actually used apple syrup because I thought... Too much of sinful things in there, so and um, mix this up and, and boil it for about five minutes. So while this cookie is warm, we actually need to pour the warm mixture. Yeah. So it's actually ready for that right now. Amrita is going to pour yeah. this over. Yeah, yeah. So it's simple boiling. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And maybe we are ready actually to put the garlic, garlic. and garlic. we're now going to add some garlic, correct? Yes, That's garlic. correct. Yes. And then yes. have a little bit of ginger. Shall the I put ginger, that in yeah, place? Yeah. So we Definitely did the mushrooms ginger. and ah. then and uh, while we're doing that, tell us about why mm. you chose this mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, the, 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 the mushroom is actually it is not very common in, the, in those days when I started yeah. making this soup in yeah. India. Mm. But my husband had to go to Russia for doing his PhD and yeah, no vegetarian food was available. Mm. So he was, soups were available but everything there will be meat. Mm. Then he uh, tried, so gave me soup, chicken soup without chicken, <laughs> mutton soup without mutton. They didn't oh. understand. <laughs> then the gravy used to be like mushroom gravy or uh, tomato gravy. Yeah. And so he will ask them to take it out and then he developed a taste for it and then came back and made it a point that every meal should have a soup in, uh, component in the, for him. <laughs> that is how I started doing it and I did it till the last day of his life. <laughs> that's it. So yes. that's how he got interested in yeah, mushroom. mushroom. Yeah. Yes, so now, now we, have, we, we have added uh, mushroom, mushroom, we garlic. have added uh, the ginger, we have added uh, garlic. garlic. Now we go to, go to um, this uh, broccoli, broccoli. broccoli. Yeah, not a common one, in, uh, not an Indian vegetable. No, not, uh, not a, uh, nowadays it is available in those days, it was not known even. Yeah, mm. and actually uh, that's what I would say about Appa, he stuck mm. to mm. being vegetarian, even in that difficult yes, uh, times they, yeah. when he was in Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia. And yes. then he found all these new vegetables and new soups um, and figured it out and yes. in fact mm. yes. he loved mushroom and a broccoli despite Correct. coming from a very South Indian background. <laughs> Today, yes, I'm sure vegetarianism has come back mm -hmm. so yes. much that people are really talking about how the world has changed, right? And about how healthy it is. Yeah, how much exactly. healthy it is. Should yeah. I add? Now we, now we add uh, this uh, onion. onion. Okay. So this is a little bit different where you're adding onions later. Later, on. yeah. Usually onions, onions go are first. added early, but yes. you are adding it a uh, little bit later. Because the, the reason why I added it later is I wanted to check out some of the mushroom. To be sprinkled oh. after the, uh, ah. some people have a taste for it. So if I add uh, onion, then I won't be able to do that. It is easier for me to work. So I, 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 I sort that and take it out. <laughs> then add one by one. Doesn't matter because anyway we are going to liquidize it together. Right. You want two cups of water? Yeah. Now we need a little bit of uh, salt and uh, pepper. Pepper. Yeah. But ahead. salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to, to taste is the best. Yeah. And yeah. nice to see the Himalayan salt, huh? And I suggest that we we always we should use less of salt because in case we need we can add to it. That Later. is true. Yeah. So we're putting two cups of water, correct? Two cups of water? Yeah, two cups of water. This is two, two cups. cups of water. And six minutes is done? And six minutes it should be six done. Six minutes should be done. Wow. So there we go. Amma, we'll just put that yes. over. Yeah, yeah. So we are ready to make our lovely cutlet. T today we are going to try vegetable cutlet. Yeah, and you this want to uh, talk about it? Yeah, where that it the, veget the vegetable cutlet, normally the cutlets are uh, done in non-vegetarian, like chicken cutlet and things like that. So my husband wanted to try vegetable vegetable cutlet. So we had a cook who was very innovative and uh, he tried with various vegetables and very colorful vegetables and he came out with this preparation. So we liked it so much. So we are trying to show it to you the preparation of that. and. Uh, before that, we can explain uh, the more, show you to the various ingredients. ingredients we use. And this is the secret, really, the beetroot, because yes, the, yes, red yes, the red color made it look a little bit reddish, and that gave the vegetable feel like and the a feel like a like non vegetable. It's very good uh, iron content in vegetable. Beetroot, beetroot and nitrate, so mm. yes. 
Yes. And you want to talk about the colors, Hamsha? I mean, yes, yes, we uh, chose rainbow of colors, blue and red and green. And, you know, there are seven colors in the rainbow. So you can choose whatever you want to. But this was in tribute to a very professional, very a cook that you really admire. Yeah, yeah. What's his name yes. again? His name is Venkatcham. And even he was commissioned by the Western hotels to uh, make this uh, vegetable cutlet because some people are in those days also vegetarian, though they come from Western countries. So they used to commission him for making such preparation. He is very innovative in his ideas. And he was actually the chef for the Padmanabha temple. Yes, he was the palace cook and the, uh, and, and the temple where he used to prepare things for the pujas. The same person is so uh, versatile. He can go to a Western hotel and make a preparation like vegetable cutlet. Nobody could make out. Yeah. So we're using uh, regular uh, vegetables like onions, beetroot, which is not normal Very use. Normal. The Westerners normally just make a lentil cutlet. Mm. Mm. You'll okay. always hear of a lentil, lentil cutlet and shape it like a lentil, lentil like, cutlet, a, yeah. like a lamb or whatever yeah. they use. So here we have a shredded cabbage, uh, yellow cabbage, oh, green cabbage, green cabbage. Uh, purple cabbage, yeah. and then we have shredded carrots. This is shredded green beans, yeah. and that's peas. Yep. Yes, uh, yes, so yes. And onion. Hard. And, and, and onion on the other side, which is covered. And for the spices, we had? Uh, Elachi or cardamom and um, cloves. Yes. Cloves, yes. So and those are the warming ingredients, so that will be nice for a winter dish. I yeah. add a uh, little oil, that is one, one teaspoon will do. And uh, we normally sort it sep uh, separately, not together. So I start with beetroot. Peter takes the longest to yes. uh, cook, I guess. Yes, hands are the best tools. What? Yeah, hands yes. are the best tools. Yes. So after sauteing, you putting it in the same dish. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You have to saute it, and while while doing that, I add the 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 uh, salt needed for this quantity. You have a okay. pinch of salt. Pinch of salt that uh, your assessment for that is required for this quantity. As I always say, that less salt is better, so that you can add if you need more later. Mm -hmm. Some people cook it, but I don't prefer to cook it. The taste will be different. So I always saute these vegetables. So this way it has a slight crunch yes, on it. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm? You want to talk about our chef Venkat? Yeah, my, uh, yeah that chunk, well, he was unique in uh, whatever preparation he used to make from our Indian traditional food to the puja traditional food to this type of food. He is he's unique. Nobody can, uh, can be a substitute for him. But he is uh, so per perfect about his uh, ingredients and all the matters, so, so he, he, he will not cook if all the things are not available. available. And he will not allow anybody to mess up with his preparation. <laughs> that was Vengacham. But unfortunately, in those days, there was no visibility, no mass media. So he did not get any visibility. I am sorry for him. I am so happy that I am paying a tribute by dealing with this. He was the one who will be hired for every big wedding, big party in, in Thiruvannamalai in those areas. In Travancore yes. district, the yes. state of Travancore. Yes. Yes. Should we add the next one? Yes. What would you like we, me to uh, put? Next we will have a carrot. So just to give you an idea, it is done and yet not cooked. Yeah. So you still have a slight crunch to it. Again, one teaspoon of oil. And, and how much of the next carrot? Okay, now, I'm, uh, there is one cup of carrot we are. Go ahead. Yeah. And then this the is olive salt. oil. So. Carrots are being sauteed. Yeah. So while you're busy doing yeah. that, Go back to so that. we have another fun fact about our our cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Amrita right here, which was they now known as Amkars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually needed chocolate, and we thought, okay, this is a good idea. This is very, very yummy chocolate I just told. So she's broken it for a little bit, and she's sharing it with us now for the show. And we're going to be melting this at uh, for two minutes on 60% um, power. Perfect. I'm going to check it in between two minutes. Okay. I think the carrot is done. We'll okay. go to the next item. Why don't you put the carrot in there? Yeah. What would you like next? Next we can have the cabbage. cabbage. That violet cabbage. The oil is again here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And pinch of salt. Be careful when you are adding salt. Yes, because actually vegetables have their own salt too. Mm. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you don't need too much. You don't need. Yeah, actually, if you, if you train your taste buds, yes. you, you can actually do without do salt. Without salt. Mm. Every vegetable has such salt content in it. Sodium, right? Sodium is yeah. salt. This got cooked quite quickly, isn't it? Purple. 
Is it your garden? From your garden? It's from a garden. It's not from my garden. We yeah. uh, from Barrett Mills. It's an yeah. organic farm stand. It's going to be tasty. But it's done. You already did it, okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And the last is the green cabbage. Oh, no, no. No, you have peas. peas and you have green. Beans. Beans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to smell so good already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And it's you're, you're checking in on the. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to open it. Oh, you did it. Yeah. Okay. All right. In those days, even breadcrumbs were not available for him. So he will bring the from the bakery the bread, raw bread, uh, and uh, put it in the pan and make it, uh, uh, the roast, make it roasted. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. Then it had to be pounded in the stone, mm. then seal it. That was uh, the hard work. So, uh, if you have a look at the chocolate, oh, the yeah. chocolate is melted. So, while Amrita is doing a cookie, you can finish Amma, you your... can continue. Amma, mm -hmm. you continue with this. So, the cookie is now being uh, transformed <laughs> into the millionaire, millionaire cookie. shortbread. Ah. Millionaire shortbread, yes. You need a little more oil? Yeah, well, one, again. Then we go for the beans. You may have to uh, melt another chocolate thing. Yeah. Two, maybe? Yeah, let me, let me see how much we get out of this. Because in India, chocolate was such a treat. Oh my God! Oh, the same. <laughs> Things were not very different in some India, yeah, and some, even though we were, you know, living in totally different yeah. parts of the world. Yeah. Uh, now that we get together, we see that uh, similarities. Similarities, exactly. Yeah. I remember such a joy visiting <laughs> South Africa and learning about. You grow old when you stop learning. How true. Never stop learning. My mother yeah. is still going for different classes. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her. So I don't think you stop at any age. Yeah. Now the crushed piece. Yeah. Why did yes. you crush the piece? Because the whole piece, uh, if it, it, it is very difficult to make the shape of it. It will fall down when you are frying. Ah, okay. She did. She did. I did. Okay. No. All right. That's so now okay. anything else? Mom? Only that onion. <coughs> need to fry the onion. So you just, op I have to little bit. The last onion? item to be sauteed is onion. It's not yet hot, but we can do it. Yeah. Wow, look at these colors here. I know, beautiful. Yes. Oh my goodness. So as Amma said here, the potatoes uh, were boiled and it's very important to mash them so I'm just going to put it out here and uh, while she's sauteing it I'll just mash it really well and that makes the base ingredient and uh, grinding I mean binding binding, binding. 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 Yeah. The, whole thing. the whole thing how are these guys so innovative and creative that that is a mystery to me too <laughs> but the, the papers are there but he has no access to these papers he, he, he does not know English but how he and how he, not only this, there are so many items I don't remember nowadays. And the, he won't even announce what are the ingredients he has used. People used to wonder, what is this item? People, they go with that wonder still. Even his pickles are unique. Now, now also I have the recipe of his lemon pickles. Where do you get his recipes from? From him I have got it. Oh, wow. Yes, when I was, uh, actually only, only when I got married, I got interested. He used to, my husband used to tell me, to learn from him. I was not interested in those days. <laughs> now I regret it. Now he is gone. But the, the, the lemon, uh, lemon pickle he makes, my God, it's unique. Things like potatoes and all, I shouldn't go into the machine. It gets very funny. You can yeah. short it, I will do it. Can I, can I do it? Of course. Yeah. Thank you. You have to see that no lumps are there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I spoke about these potatoes, huh? I know. Here we go. I'm mixing that onion now. While we are doing that, this looks beautiful, Amrita. Getting close to the end. Mm. Yes, it asks for about a pound of chocolate. Yeah. So. so I think we are done with the millionaire shortbread now. Well, just about. We just have to have the uh, chocolate set. Set, yep. And once it's set, um, yes, you'll be able to <laughs> check it out. So let's put it on the other side yeah. and let's, let's watch um, uh, Fatih do this. Want me to add more potato? Oh, one more put it. Oh. Put this too? Put, oh. And then you can, you can, how many, uh, you can, you can add. You don't want to add too much to the yeah, Only this much. Yes. Then add ca that ca cardamom flour. Oh yes, yes. And ginger, then this the one. Cardamom and uh, cloves. We have not uh, added that. Uh, ginger and uh, ginger, ginger, and, uh, ginger and chili. 
Yeah. There we go. So the ginger and chili. Delicious. So you first sauteed everything, then you added yeah. the tomato, potato, yeah. ginger, yeah. chili, and as you were sauteing, you were adding your salt. And That's now, right. And now we're adding cardamom and yeah. cloves. So how much cardamom do you think was uh -huh. Uh, and then it's about a quarter, 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 quarter teaspoon. A little more than a quarter teaspoon, yeah. And the same thing with cloves? Same yeah. thing about the yeah. cloves. Oh man, I want to smell that tire. I, I know. <laughs> you know, we normally like just freshly ground cardamom, and this is not even. I know. <laughs> this bottle, it still smells good. Good one. Is it cloves? Cloves. Cloves. A little bit. Oh. Cloves? Wait, enough, enough. Less than. Yeah. Mm, that's quarter teaspoon. Yeah, but so I. You put quarter teaspoon of clove and about yeah. half a teaspoon. Yeah. yeah. You can. You, you can uh, Smell the smell. yes, you can smell the cardamom and the clove. Mm. Smells very good. I shape it this way. Ah, so that's like a patty, like a tiki, right? That's what we like call a tiki almost, yeah. yeah. I'm not an artist, so no, but this we is make it like a heart and all that. But she was talking heart. about a different way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a, a yeah, like you can do that. Like yeah. a, a lamb cutlet. A lamb cutlet is made like oh. that, mummy. But you see, all of this, when you have many people, it makes more fun. Yeah. Definitely. Right. So, Amrita. Amrita, we said. back to do more. <laughs> we are. Yes. You want to come and make yes, some cutlets? Yes, 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 yes. 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 Uh, Emma, you can come a little bit this way so we can all. So now we have an appetizer, main cause and dessert. Yeah, we do. Amma, you can come in the middle. A bit, huh? Yes. <laughs> this is an economical uh, dish too. This is true. This is true. We got from Papa to millionaire today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, son-in-law and mother-in-law have cooked a lot together. I think, Anil, it's time for you to join us. Come on up. Do. Come on up. Let's do the frying the way you used to do it with your mother-in-law. Let's have, have it. our frying expert join yeah. the team. Uh, frying expert is uh, going to join the team here. All right. right. Joining us is our expert, Anil Sago. Randini's husband, so it's become a real family affair. So what temperature do you normally fry that? I usually try to do it between uh, uh, medium high and high. Medium high and high. So um, we kind of bind here together and Bob, what we are going to do is take the soup and put it in the liquidizer. So, so it just looks like a broth with some... Um, yeah. Some vegetables, but it will actually yeah. be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, so a, that's a good way so that you can make it warm also. Mm -hmm. I think it turn it on and let's put it on blend. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mom? Mm, you can see. Yeah, I think that sounds good as a soup. Come and see. So I think so we have the soup ready. Here, I'm going to give it back to you. Okay, we're going to make it warm right there. Or you can put it there itself, no right. problem. Yeah. yeah. So what she's doing now, she's made a little batter here. Yeah. And then, uh, it's like a, almost like a tempura batter. Yes. Yes. The consistency you have to judge. Right. Yes, this should and be the consistency. Remove, remove all lumps. Yes. Okay. Not too thick. So from that, she's putting into breadcrumbs. Yeah, that I have put it. The breadcrumbs yeah. on that side. Yeah. 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 You take one of them and dip it. Okay. Then roll it over. Roll it in the breadcrumbs. Yes. And then you put in the oil. Is the oil ready? Uh, yeah. 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 It's ready. Okay. I and smell test one. This is everyone's favorite part when that first piece of fried uh, fried food comes out. <laughs> the the inside it should be soft. Outside it should be crisp. That is the oh secret. Oh yes, that's top. why you got this bread yes. crust, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't put uh, anything. <laughs> 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 that, that, that is the consistency. You can take it out. If you did 250 just for your tufts, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how many other times you did it at home. <laughs> We've done this a lot. <laughs> it's an all-time favorite. But I think going forward, we should try some of the healthier options, the baking and the air frying. I, I, only because um, as a uh, so as a generation. See, this is the color. Ati, I'm going to take that first yeah, bite. Yeah, like that. How is it? See, this is the color that the uh, correct color. Fadi, this is amazing. Really? It's really, can really good. <laughs> can you can take four or four raw and make it there, or you can oven the potato cooker? Oh my God. Are you going to be putting it in the oven? She's asking, you're going to be making it like this. <laughs> no, no, for her husband, I'm telling you, carry it, and if it, uh, oh. it is cold, <laughs> you put it in the oven, heat it in the oven. <laughs> I oh used my God. to make it like this, and he used to take it for uh, lunch, mm -hmm. and then for tea. Then for dinner, 
<laughs> then I'm scared. <laughs> then you're scared. Mm -hmm. Too much the, oil. The, in the one only day. the only dangerous part in this uh, dish is the oil. But uh, watch the technique that uh, Anil is using to yes. fry the. See, this is how it should be fried. Right. So for this quantity, you just need like half a cup of uh, flour. Half yeah. a cup of flour. Yeah. So if somebody is gluten intolerant, what would you say if we instead of well, we can use basin? Yeah. Gram flour. Some people are not. Chana flour. If you people are gluten intolerant, mm -hmm. then you don't use um, uh. Uh, all purpose flour. They use gram you flour. You can use gram flour. Then that will have a bajia taste. It wouldn't have the same taste because yeah. of, but no, because um, the re what gives bajia the taste is the coriander leaves mm -hmm. and the yeah. thing. We're not using coriander leaves. So good, if somebody is gluten intolerant, yeah. that would be a very good yeah. alternative yeah. To, right. to do your breading. Cooking is also a, like a devotion, you see. Yes. You are creating something. Mm -hmm. It should be consumed by others, you know. Otherwise, your time is very wasted and their stomach is spoiled. So, it will be very careful. So, always cook with lots of love yes. and devotion. Right? Yes. So that is why they say home cooked food is always the best because, you know, the people are cooking with lots of love and devotion. Wow. Uh, Amma, what a meal, huh? Ranjini, mm. you, uh, you decided to give him a little bit of a, a healthier one, yeah. which is gluten free. And if anybody wants the recipe, you're welcome to write to me at flavorfuleats at gmail.com and I will definitely share. This is a gluten free chocolate chip cookie that's oh. made with <laughs> which is made with oats and almond flour. Excellent. So it cuts all the things there, but I think it's just as tasty. I'm sure Appa would surely appreciate, especially the healthy aspect of it. You want to eat Tata's food and, and let us know what you thought? What do you think about it? Here we go. Yeah, there's a spoon right there. Ah. <laughs> and of course, the rest of it. Yes. Anil, would you like to try some? Mm. That's really good. Really As you good. remember. <laughs> really good. Yeah, let's all test it out a little bit. Excellent. Mm, 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 mm. Very, very delicious. Yeah, right. Yes, thank you so much for joining me. It yeah, is yeah. so auspicious to have you cook with us. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. you so thank you. Thank you. I'm, 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 so, I'm, I'm so humbled you and uh, you have uh, called me and uh, such a perfect person. <laughs> I'm only assist to cooking and you are a professional cook. Yes, I know. Yes. Yeah. Thank and you. And your first cooking lesson after marriage. Absolutely. <laughs> None other than from Ham Shanti. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. And so this is the best treat ever, <laughs> uh, an interpretation of a very, very, very esteemed cook. Yeah. Right. From yeah. one chef to another chef mm. to the rest of the world. Yeah, right. Thank you so much. The taste in people's tongue yes. is yeah. definitely having it to yes. five generations at least. Yes, yes. So we're grateful for that. Share, and thank you for sharing his great uh, yeah. dishes, dishes with us yeah. and his story. Thank you so much. And from your host, Hamsha Naidu, from Anil Saigal, Ranjini Saigal, Mrs. Parvati Ayer, and Amrita Saigal. Thank you all very much. The nice success uh, lies in the frying of it. <laughs> we don't need that for us. That's a very important tip. Very important tip. Yes. yes. And always available at actingtv.org. Any comments, you always write to flavorfuleats at gmail.com. Again, from your host, till we meet again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.